Hello my dear family members I hope all of you are preparing well for your upcoming Mahindra Rise exam as I know that most of the problems from special reasoning from quants from logical from your technical and also the coding questions all the questions mostly repeating in the Mahindra Rise exam so this video is going to be game changing for you because all the questions I'm going to share are real questions asked in Mahindra Rise exam okay so let me show the questions all one by one just one request guys I I'm making this video on 1am 2am 3am so for you only I'm sacrificing this much so please do subscribe this channel and watch the playlist regarding any company that you want and do share this and like this video so that I will be motivated more and you will be updated as well okay so let me share the questions first so the problem is figures given below are changing with certain rules as we observe them from left to right so these are the figures given to you i hope this is visible guys so th these are all rectangles and the triangles is towards facing uh, like north here south here north again here south again and these are the straight lines just see their positions so let me just uh, overdraw it here so this side sorry straight line here little bit angle here also little bit angle so these are the figures so please give the answer in the comment section according to this rule which of this following would be the next figure if the changes were made in the same rule so please give the answer okay so as you can see here the triangle is facing towards north okay and in the next figure it changes its direction towards south so that means it changes its direction 180 degree okay and it changes its positions to here to here this corner bottom uh, down uh, i mean yeah here so it changes its rotation that means towards anti-clockwise okay so anti-clockwise it changes its direction here as well so from here to here but here as well it changes its direction 180 degree so north south to north okay and in the next figure as you can see it changes its direction towards anti-clockwise as well here so it changes from here to here and 180 degree changes to south okay so to, towards south so here in the next figure as well it should change its direction towards anti-clockwise so here it should be okay so it is eliminated at first because the triangle should be in this corner so we can choose among one two and three these three okay now its direction should be towards north okay because 180 degree shift so the direction should be this way okay so in this direction in this case only the direction is towards north okay that means uh, here it is eliminated because towards south it is towards south so only this uh, figure is matching with our rules okay so that's why this will be the correct answer okay i hope you guys understood so let me go to the next question if you have any question then please comment down and if you have any recommendation then please comment down and let me know what's your concern okay now this is the next question so question is a can contains a mixture of two liquids x and y in the ratio 7 is to 5 when 9 liters of the mixture is drawn off and the can is filled with y the ratio of x and y becomes 7 is to 9 how many liters of the liquid x was contained by uh, contained by the can initially so this is the question please give the answer in the comment section i hope you have paused the video and thought a little and trying to give the answer so let me give the answer but before that guys let me introduce with our prime materials in which we have included all the repeated coding questions repeated quants logical and special reasoning questions and as well as we have included interview experiences and everything you need to know and most of the questions are being repeated and thousands of candidates are having this and getting placed at different companies as you can see this has been marked as five stars so students given this feedback and we have been marked as top one percent top 0 0.1 percent uh, like we have been recognized here in uh, top mate so please visit top slash techno underscore uf there you can get all the top 25 mnc's materials and grab the opportunity thank you so let me go to the answer so it can contains a mixture of two liquids x and y right so and in the ratio of 7 is to 5 so what is the initial positions of x that is uh, 7x and for y it is 5x but in the mixture their uh, amount will be 7x by 12 7x by 5 plus 2 right and for y it will be 5x by 12 now if 9 liters of the mixture is drawn off that means removed from this 
and it would be similarly drawn up right so the amount removed amount removed from x it will be 7x sorry 7 by 12 into 9 it will be equal to 63 by 12 so it will become 12 5 just 60 so 5.25 okay and for removed amount from y it will be 5 uh, 5 by 12 into 9 so it will be 45 by 12 3 is uh, 0.75 okay so now the question is how much amount is remaining for x that is 7x by 12 minus 5.25 because it is removed this amount is removed and this, this was the first initial quantity and for y say uh, 5x by 12 minus 3.75 so this is the remaining amount okay remaining x remaining y now that it is told that after removing it was filled with y ratio filled with the y ratio okay so now that means 9 liter has been added to this uh this i mean in the y okay so it will be added with y 5x by 12 plus um 5.5x by 12 plus 5.25 okay so this is the amount remaining for y so this is the new quantity so new x quantity is 7x by 12 minus 5.25 and a new y quantity is 5x by 12 plus 5.25 and is equal to the new ratio will be 7 by 9 okay so please solve the problem and just find out the value of x and this the x value will be the initial value okay initial value but the amount should be added with this 7x into 12 so that will be the answer okay and, and the answer will be option c so please just solve this problem and just get to know what will be the actual okay so let me show the next question so the next question is shown to you the price of the petrol was raised by 15 percent by how much percentage should a motor a motorist reduce the consumption of petrol so that the expenditure on it does not increase so um, uh, let me show you one shortcut tricks without going to a uh, deep theory so if uh, this is the, like uh, from, from percentage concept and if the price is increasing if the price is increasing then there is a uh, there is a formula and if the price is decreasing there is a formula so if you calculate according to that formula and if, if you have to uh, like uh, if you have to maintain the consumption or if you have to maintain the expenditure then this formula will be uh, like applied okay so i hope you have tried and you are just cross verifying if your answer is right or not so let me just uh, give you the solutions so if the price is increasing then the formula is r by 100 plus r okay and if the price is decreasing then 100 minus r so this is the formula you have to apply there r is the percentage of increase per percentage of decrease okay so uh, just apply this formula and they get to know how much percentage should a motorist reduce the consumption of petrol so that the expenditure on it does not increase so r means 15 by 100 plus 15 so it will be into 100 oh, sorry into 100 into 100 so 1500 by 115 115 just to get to know the like solutions uh one one five so this will be 35 and then 350 one uh, 115 into three that is 345 and 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 we have further calculations but as you can see in the options there are no options other than these which have 13 in the options so that's why you will choose with option c you will not calculate further okay so i hope you understood okay so let me go to the next question guys please do subscribe this channel i'll be motivated to make more content for you only okay now the question is if 12 workers can build a wall in 10 days how many days will 15 workers take to build the same wall so this is a very easy question so let me give you the solutions so for this the answer will be for 12 workers 
so how many amount of work that is uh, for 12 workers doing uh, building the wall in 10 days so total work days will be 12 into 10 amount of work that is 120 work days okay now for 15 workers how much it will uh, like take that is uh, inversely proportional right so we just divide this by 15 and you will get the answer 120 by 15 is equal to 8 so 8 days will be the correct answer i hope you understood this is a easy questions so actually these questions are being repeated and if not repeating then almost same questions will be asked to you guys so you can just refer to the previous questions any way you can get and that will also be available here so please visit and grab the opportunity okay so yeah this is the technical question so which function of predefined class thread is used to check whether uh, current thread being checked is still running or not so without any bug bug let me just give the answer that is is alive method this is the inbuilt method which helps the thread class to uh, thread class to find if any thread being checked is still running or not okay so this is the correct answer okay so let me go to the next question so next question will be a quick question for you guys so what is the name of the thread in output in the following java program so please keep the answer in the comment section this will be a quick question for you so all the best guys for your upcoming exam and if you need any help then please comment down uh, if you if you need any content then also comment down and if you need any further help then please inbox me or join our telegram channel t.mr.cvk and not there we are giving proper solutions for different some uh, like problems different career, career problems so please visit that and uh, like get solved your career issues thank you